Okay, YouTubers, I think we're ready to go. This thing's uh, about to take off. Yeah, looking like it. I'll just put you down for a second. Get this thing running. This glass is just an air pump. I used to um, start it, draws the fuel, uh, runs it, starts it faster. All right. So this is the outlet, and it runs into the blower pipe, which aims up, which has a um, a one mil jet down in there which helps uh, pull the fuel and the air mixture through like uh, pretty much like a spray can and um, that's why it runs nice doesn't blow out in the wind this is a motor I made from an MSS loco kit I ordered some bits from uh, Forest Hobbies and, and noticed that they had some cylinders which is just the cylinder and the, and the front bit of block there and the piston and the rod which uh, I like to make myself because this is all ball bearing it's got a ball bearing in the pivot block ball bearing main and ball mains and ball bearing big end and uh, this thing is just much better than the last video with a twin cylinder Chinese motor which I don't recommend for anyone they've all got issues and Chinese motors they look good but pretty much trouble as you can see this thing's actually driven fairly hard as you can see the motor's a bit rough the block on that's a little bit rough but it doesn't have to be as long as it's straight and then you don't have to do any valve work because the um, the little spacer that comes with them has the um, the ports already in it, so it's basically a flat block with a couple of holes in it. I made the lubricator, which seems to work pretty good. And this thing is just going so much better. It's but the last uh, twin cylinder only had a 40 mil prop on it with a twin cylinder which is the same bore this one's the other one was a 15 mil stroke this one's an 18 mil stroke and it's turning a um, 50 mil prop quite easily it runs for about oh, 10 10 minutes or so maybe a bit more on 150 mil of water so um, but once it gets going there's a load of there's a load of power in this. Quite a bit of thrust, and uh, that's from an MSS uh, spare part loco cylinder, which I made a little marine engine out of. So now I'll use a twin for a loco. But uh, this is the reason why my little MSS loco, like um, Camilla. And Julia runs so good. The locos are all ball bearing. Apart from just the connecting rods on the sides, the pivot block and the mains and the axles on my little MSS locos by Camilla, they're all ball bearing locos. That's why I only buy, I won't buy any more. I've got some nice locos and I will not buy them anymore. No more locos because they just wear out. You know, the little MSS kit ones from factory, I can fit all ball bearings. And uh, my little uh, Camilla just done 100 kilometers and there's just nowhere at all. Uh, the pistons probably got a little bit from doing 100 kilometers, but certainly nothing to worry about at the moment. There's a good little oiler on it. Lubricator, that works really well, which is in between the cylinder and the front wheel and you fill it turning the loco upside down right next to the steam line works a treat 
Well, this one's going in a fast boat. Something like a punk cross with a battleship. As you can see, just runs smooth as a baby. And I'll get a long life out of that, all ball bearing. I don't have to worry about anything wearing out. Like nothing, pretty much, only the piston. And as long as you're getting good lubrication, that'll probably last an awful long time as well. So uh, there, if you want to make yourself an easy make motor, and you got a little lathe, and you want a first job, buy yourself a cylinder, saved you doing the work there. I mean, normally I'll make my own, but I just, while I was online, I bought 35 bucks, Australian. Might as well chuck that in, I'll give it a go. See, the little logos run well. That's a 10 mil ball, or nearly 10 mil, with a um, 18 mil stroke. Seems to run great. Alright, see you next time. I'll hit like if you like it. If you don't, write something. I don't mind negative comments. Radio. Thank you.